Hi y'all, we back again with another banging video. If y'all have not seen part one of leading into part two of me going into the cell, you feel me now? We're upstairs, we're in the jail colony. So we're literally in jail now. So there's no getting out, none of that. And it's cold, it's straight cold, bro. So I'm gonna tell y'all like the schedule of like the foods and shit like that. So at 4 a.m., we get breakfast. I mean, they wake up, everybody screaming, everybody breakfast, breakfast, everybody gotta get up at 4 a.m., man. You go, you eat breakfast, whatever, you feel me? <clears throat> First day, you know, I didn't really get up, because I was just like, nah, I'm fucking tired, bro. I've been, you know, in the holding cell since, like, 2. I didn't get up there since 4 in the afternoon, and I was eating some disgusting-ass food. Nah, bro, I'm over here, like... Reminiscing about good food in the outside. I'm like, damn, I got to get in the outside world. Because the outside world is not like this. So I'm sitting there, you know, chilling, whatever, you know. Cool, whatever. You know, inmates in there talking about, you know. So, you know, we go back to sleep at 4, right? Then we get up, um, like, around 9 o'clock. They let us use the phones or whatever, you know, to make calls to people. If you want to make calls, you feel me? If you know, you know, so they let you use the phones to make calls. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't really got nobody to fucking call. Because, mind you, I don't know nobody's number. And they wouldn't give me access to my phone. Because once you get up there, bro, you get access to nothing. So it's like, whatever you got is what you got. So, and plus, they're going to check you again to see if you have anything on you. Just because, yeah. So literally, I had nothing. So, I remember nobody's phone numbers, nothing. I'm sitting there just thinking to myself, like, damn, I fucked up, because I did fuck up. It's cold in there. I'm sitting there. Motherfuckers in there screaming, fighting already. It's day one, bro. Mind you, this is day one, bro. Niggas screaming in there, fighting in there. So, some niggas, right, they started fighting over some dumb shit or whatever. He gets mad at the guard. He gets mad at someone, you know, they're fighting or whatever, you know. I'm over here just chilling, mind you, sitting down talking to some inmates that I met before, you know, because they came up with me. Bro, when I tell you, I'm sitting down there, right, minding my business or whatever. Four or five guards come running. Black, black jackets, and if you know them black jackets, you know them niggas don't play. Four or five guards come. They're like, everybody sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up. So mind you, they're like, everybody get to your bunks now. I'm trying to go back to my bunk, right? Tell me why two, three officers is like, what the fuck you doing? Sit the fuck down. Mind you, I felt like a bitch. I really did. So I, I just went back and sat down because there ain't nothing I could really do. I mean, shit. I do something, I say something, they're going to beat my ass. And there's no cameras in there. So they could do whatever the fuck they want to do to anybody. So I go back, I sit down, I'm just like, all right, whatever. So, kind of find out, you know, they're like, oh, some Chico, that's that's what they call them Spanish niggas, you know how they have different names for everybody. They're like, them Chicos, you know, he shanked someone. I'm like, what? Oh, nah, I gotta get the fuck up out of here. You talking about shanking? My nigga, nah, he's tripping. So come to find out, he shanked somebody. So, now they got him going to solitary. And if you know what fucking solitary is, it's 30 days in the fucking box. Mind you. you like, we all were, the only reason we all were together was because we were in quarantine at the time, too. So, quarantine. But, back to that um story. So, yeah. He gonna, you know, they getting his shit. He's getting booted out. He's taking his bunk, everything. He's leaving the cell now. Going to wherever. They're, re they're relocating him. So, I'm like, alright, cool. Whatever. You know, it's is what it is. It's jail. You're going to see some crazy shit. It's going to happen every five to ten minutes. So, you know, I go back, you know, um, I just chill, whatever, I'm like, whatever, fuck it. That was it. Then, you know, um, we get to watch TV for like a couple hours, but when I tell you, bro, some motherfuckers, bro, don't play about that TV. Once that TV comes on, bro, it's first to the remote. And mind you, I didn't really give a fuck too much about the TV because I'm just thinking, how the fuck am I going to get out? 
Because you can't see outside. There's no time clock in there. Them motherfuckers ain't going to tell you what day it is. So therefore, you losing. You basically going crazy. And mind you, this is my first time in there. My first ever charge. So, you know, first time ever in jail. I'm going crazy, bro. And everybody seeing that, they're all like, this man is losing it. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm fucking losing it. What the fuck? I don't want to be in here with y'all niggas. This is not my type of environment. And them niggas is like, well, you did the crime, so you're going to have to pay for what the fuck you did. Because at the end of the day, you, you was not getting out. You was not getting out. You feel me? Like, there was one time where um, I seen some nigga, he started running. Like, he was booking it. It was in a different you know, area, because they have A, B, C, you know, on floor one, mind you, there's 16 floors, so there's at least, like, 2,000 inmates in there, I'm just on the first floor, crazy, so, the nigga's booking it, he's running, he runs, right, four or five niggas running after him, this nigga's screaming, we all get up, we all run to the window to see what the fuck going on, and you know how them niggas flashing the lights, talking about, hey, get your fucking asses back in your fucking bunks and all that shit, bro. We can't say nothing. We just gotta take it. Cause if you say something, they gonna think you know you re you retaliating. Like what's up? Like them niggas is gonna really like try to fight. And like yo, the food disgusting. Everything disgusting. But when I tell you, I still be having a taste in my mouth some days when I wake up, bro. It's just crazy. So there was one time, right? You know, I'm chilling or whatever. It was in the morning. Man, I was at lunch. We had lunch. You know, I'm like, yo, what's for you know lunch or whatever? You feel me? Mind you, <clears throat> he's like, oh, it's a mystery me, you know, some other cellmate, he's like, oh, it's a mystery me, I I'm over here like, what, bro, what the fuck is mystery me, kind of find out niggas talking about, oh, I don't know, it's just, you know, an artificial me, nobody knows what it is, we just call it mystery me, because, you know, that's just what it is, I was just like, alright, bro, at this point, I can't eat this food, this shit's disgusting, you tell me I got to eat this for however long I'm going to be in here for? God. God help me. At this point, God help me. Dude, this is like all day too, bro. And mind you, I was in there for a fucking week. I was losing my mind, bro. I was losing my mind. I was dead ass losing my mind. It's just crazy because, like, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I, I really wouldn't because the way you shower... The way the toilet's out in the opening, bro, like, you literally got to do everything out in the open. You can't have no privacy in prison. You have no privacy. Like, I mean, like, yeah, the showers, you know, are locked or whatever. But, like, you still got no fucking type of privacy because you, you don't know if a is going to come up in there or do some crazy weird shit to you. So you got to be on your tippy toes. That. Like, you got to be on your shit. And no, I did not drop the soap. I made sure I did not do that because hell no. Nah.